Hello, it is Foundation Friday, March 4th, 2022. Steve Cypress here on a breezy winter's day, although winter here in beautiful sunny southern Arizona. Uh, temps will be probably in the 70s today. Normally around 70, 80 this time of year. Beautiful. Wish you were here. And today we have another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book, The Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. David J. Schwartz. Which side is it on? There we go. And today we are in the chapter, You Are What You Think You Are. And as Dr. Schwartz points out, think your work is important. So he tells a classic story about three bricklayers. You probably heard it. They asked the first one, what are you doing? He says, laying brick. They asked the second one, what are you doing? He says, I'm making 30 bucks an hour. They asked the third one, what are you doing? He says, I'm building the world's most beautiful cathedral. And so the moral of the story is those first two are doing a job. They think they're doing a job. They're going through the motions. They'll always just be doing a job. But the third one has some vision. And it's not likely that he will stay simply a bricklayer for long. He's likely to move up to become at least a foreman or perhaps a project manager, an architect, an investor himself. He's having vision. He sees a bigger picture towards his work. And that's the power of having a mission instead of just thinking you're selling stuff in your business. No matter what you sell, product, service, anything at all, if you believe you're on a mission, there's a bigger reason for what you do. It's going to shine through in everything you do. And Dr. Schwartz goes on. i got to turn the page with one hand. Always a little bit of a challenge, especially here with the wind. You might hear our wind chimes are chiming away as the wind is blowing rather crisply here. Uh, also, Dr. Schwartz tells another story of two different types of workers. Uh, the first ones, when they come in for their annual review, all they want to ask about is, or on their initial interview, all they want to ask about is what are the benefits and how much vacation time and uh, let's see, what else, uh, what's the sick leave policy and, uh, you know, all about the retirement plan, the insurance program, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the other people that are going places, the ones that get the jobs, that get the promotions, the ones that you want to hire, are the ones that have a vision, they come in and they're already thinking on a concrete, on a, on a larger scale. They're asking for, with, for questions about where the company's headed and what's the overall goal of what they do. And if it's an annual review, they'll make suggestions, concrete suggestions to improve and to make more progress and to grow. And those are the people, of course, get rewarded with more growth. So. As Dr. Schwartz concludes, this is concrete evidence that you are what you think you are, what your thought power directs you to become. That's the whole point of the whole book. That's why it's called The Magic of Thinking Big. Think you're weak. Think you lack what it takes. Think you will lose. Think you are second class. Think you're just doing a job. Think your business is just all about getting more clients, customers, patients, members, about making money, about selling stuff, and... If you think that way, you are doomed to mediocrity. But think instead, I am important. I'm on a mission. I'm changing lives. I'm doing big things. My business, my work matters. Think this way and you're headed straight to big success. The key to winning what you want lies in thinking positively towards yourself and your business. The only real basis other people have for judging your abilities is your actions, and your actions are controlled by your thoughts. You are what you think you are. With that, we'll call an end. Today's episode, another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book, The Magic of Thinking Big. I could not recommend it more that you go out and get a copy. Otherwise, you can stick around here every Foundation Friday. We'll go through another little piece of the book. However, if you like the speed to success, you go out and get your own copy and you whip through this thing in a weekend and then you read it over and over and over as I have uh, for the past uh, over 30 years since somebody first gave it to me. Changed my life. I've helped change lives around me by teaching uh, by example mostly and now by, by teaching directly from the book, The Magic of Thinking Big hope you 
experience the same success. That'll do it for Foundational Friday. Jer Dog is here. Jeremy Jer Dog Danley. Talk about someone who is successful and who understands the magic of thinking and acting big. There he is, the world's number one marketer for pub and grubs that have live entertainment. Number one expert on filling rooms for live shows, live music, live comedy, open mic night, whatever it is, darts league. You own any kind of establishment where you hold live events, you want to talk to my man, Jer Dog. Great seeing you here. Wish you were here. I know you're coming this way soon, my friend. I will see you then. Can't wait to see you in action when you're out and about. Uh, you know, Jer Dog not only is the number one marketer for live events, but once in a while he'll still get out there and perform himself, and uh, can't wait to see you doing that. That'll do it for today. I'll be back here again with everybody tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. I will catch you then. Over and out. Bye-bye.